Climate change is one of the most pressing challenges facing humanity in the 21st century, with repercussions that extend globally and affect various aspects of life on the planet. From the melting of the poles to the intensification of extreme weather events, the impact of climate change manifests itself in multiple ways, with significant consequences for the environment, the economy, and society as a whole. Welcome back to the channel. Make sure to stay until the end of the video where we will talk about the big problem of solar panels and a good alternative to them. One of the most obvious manifestations of climate change is the melting of the poles, both in the Arctic and Antarctica. This process has been documented over decades and has accelerated in recent years due to rising global temperatures. The melting of the polar ice caps contributes to sea level rise which poses a threat to coastal communities and marine biodiversity. In addition to the melting of the poles, climate change manifests itself through the intensification of extreme weather events, such as storms, droughts, heat waves, and floods. These extreme weather events are becoming more frequent and intense due to global warming, which alters natural weather patterns and increases the likelihood of extreme weather events. The consequences of these extreme weather events are devastating. More intense storms can cause significant property damage, as well as human and animal losses. Prolonged droughts can affect the availability of drinking water and cause food shortages, especially in vulnerable agricultural regions. Flash floods can displace entire communities and destroy key infrastructure. In addition to direct impacts on the environment and society, climate change also has economic repercussions, affecting sectors such as agriculture, tourism, fisheries, and the energy industry. The need to adapt to a changing climate and mitigate its effects requires significant investments and changes in public policies at national and international levels. To try to mitigate these problems, Equipment such as photovoltaic panels have been created to harness the sun's direct energy. But is it really a good option to fight this problem? Let's see. Solar panels, also known as photovoltaic panels, are devices designed to capture the sun's energy and convert it into usable electricity. They are composed of solar cells, usually made of silicon, which have the ability to convert sunlight into electrical current through a phenomenon known as the photovoltaic effect. The basic operation of a solar panel is based on the interaction of sunlight with the photovoltaic cells. When sunlight strikes the solar cells, the photons of light interact with electrons in the semiconductor material, usually silicon, which generates an electric current. This flow of electrons is then directed through an electrical circuit connected to the solar panel, where it can be used to power electrical devices, charge batteries or supply energy to an electrical grid. The importance of solar panels lies in their ability to provide a clean, renewable energy source, thereby reducing dependence on fossil fuels and mitigating greenhouse gas emissions that contribute to global warming. By using the sun's energy, solar panels produce no pollutants or emissions during operation, making them an environmentally friendly option. In addition, solar panels have the potential to reduce the demand for electricity generated by non-renewable sources, such as coal oil and natural gas, which are responsible for a large share of greenhouse gas emissions. By promoting the adoption of solar energy, it can contribute significantly to the fight against climate change by reducing carbon emissions and other pollutants associated with burning fossil fuels. Another advantage of solar panels is their versatility and scalability. They can be installed in a variety of locations, from the roofs of buildings and homes to large solar installations on the ground or on floating structures in the water. This means they can be adapted to a wide range of energy needs, both on a small scale for individual homes and on a large scale for solar farms and large-scale solar power projects. The history of solar panels is a fascinating narrative that spans more than two centuries of innovation and technological development. Its evolution dates back to the Industrial Revolution and has been driven by a combination of scientific discoveries, advances in materials manufacturing and growing awareness of the need for renewable energy sources. 
the first glimmer of the idea of harnessing solar energy to generate electricity dates back to the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century. In 1839, French physicist Alexander Edmond Becquerel discovered the photovoltaic effect, which is the fundamental principle behind the conversion of sunlight into electricity. However, this initial discovery did not immediately lead to the development of practical solar panels. The next important milestone in the history of solar panels occurred in 1883, when American inventor Charles Fritz built the first device known as a solar cell. Fritz fabricated a solar cell using selenium coated with a thin layer of gold, and although this cell had a very low efficiency, it marked the beginning of serious research into the conversion of sunlight into electricity. For much of the 20th century, solar panel technology remained largely in a state of experimental development and limited practical use. However, in 1954, Bell Labs scientists in the United States achieved a significant breakthrough by developing the first silicon solar cell with an efficiency of 4%. This breakthrough paved the way for the development of more efficient and commercially viable solar panels. In the following decades, solar panels experienced steady improvements in efficiency and cost, making them more accessible for a variety of applications. During the energy crisis of the 1970s, there was renewed interest in solar energy as an alternative to fossil fuels, leading to further development and deployment of solar technology. In recent decades, advances in materials manufacturing and systems engineering have led to a rapid expansion of the solar energy market worldwide. However, these devices, while seemingly perfect, bring with them a number of problems. The efficiency of solar panels, especially in relation to the silicon and other materials used in their manufacture, is a crucial issue in the solar energy industry. Although solar panels have experienced significant advances in recent decades, they still face challenges that limit their efficiency. One of the main problems is related to silicon, the most widely used semiconductor material in the manufacture of solar cells. Silicon is abundant and relatively inexpensive, which makes it an attractive option for the manufacture of solar panels. However, its efficiency as a photovoltaic material is limited for several reasons. First, the manufacturing process for silicon solar cells is complex and expensive. The production of high-purity silicon and the formation of the crystalline structures needed to capture sunlight require advanced technologies and energy consumption. In addition, the efficiency of converting sunlight to electricity in silicon solar cells is inherently limited. Although advances in technology have led to an increase in the efficiency of silicon solar panels in recent decades, there is still considerable room for improvement. Energy loss during the conversion of sunlight to electricity, known as thermal losses and recombination losses, remains a major challenge. Another problem related to silicon is its ability to absorb different wavelengths of sunlight. Silicon solar cells are most effective at absorbing specific wavelengths of sunlight, which limits their efficiency in certain lighting conditions. This means that some of the incident solar energy is not converted into usable electricity which reduces the overall efficiency of the solar panel. In addition to silicon, other materials used in the manufacture of solar cells can also affect the efficiency of solar panels. For example, thin film materials, such as cadmium telluride and gallium arsenide, have the potential to improve the conversion efficiency of solar panels, but also present challenges in terms of stability, cost and availability of raw materials. What do you think about this? Do you think they are still a good alternative? Let me know in the comments. Alternatives to silicon-based solar panels, such as perovskite-type crystalline structure materials, are gaining increasing attention in the solar energy field due to their potential to improve efficiency and reduce production costs. Perovskite materials are chemical compounds with a particular crystal structure that show promising photovoltaic properties. One of the main advantages of perovskite materials is their ability to absorb a wide range of wavelengths of sunlight, which allows them to harness solar energy more efficiently compared to traditional materials such as silicon. In addition, 
Perovskite materials can be processed using less expensive and simpler manufacturing techniques compared to silicon, which could significantly reduce the production costs of solar panels. Although perovskite materials are still at an early stage of development, they have shown promising advances in terms of sunlight to electricity conversion efficiency. Conversion efficiencies in excess of 25% have been achieved, rivaling the most efficient silicon solar cells available on the market. However, technical challenges remain, such as long-term stability and production scalability, which must be addressed before perovskite materials can be commercialized on a large scale. In addition to perovskite materials, other emerging technologies also offer promising prospects for the future of solar energy. For example, organic solar cells, thin film solar cells and quantum dot solar cells are areas of active research that have the potential to further improve efficiency and reduce solar energy costs. As for the future outlook for renewable energy, there is growing optimism about the role solar energy will play in the global energy supply. Advances in technology and increased scale of production are expected to lead to continued reductions in solar energy costs, which will make it even more competitive with conventional energy sources. In addition, government policies and economic incentives are expected to continue to drive the adoption of renewable energy, including solar energy, globally. The growing commitment to climate change mitigation and carbon emissions reduction is generating significant momentum towards the transition to a more sustainable, renewable-based energy system. Thank you very much for staying until the end of the video, my friend, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of my videos.